Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday to you. I hope that you've had a great week. And I have had a good week. And John and the kids have been off. They were off yesterday and they're off today. Our kids are out of school and we are going to go see uh, Puss in Boots, the movie, after I get through with this and go eat lunch and stuff. So I'm going to do this as quick as possible. It may, um, I may do two separate videos one for makeup and then one for clothes and shoes i think i am and um so I that you guys started. can <laughs> i hope that i'm not just washed out but it is cooler and rainy here today so very cloudy and no light so i did my light behind here and one of you told me to put a like a handkerchief or something over it so it wouldn't be so bright and just wash me out and that's what i did so if you see a big flame, that's <laughs> because my handkerchief is caught on fire. <laughs> it already feels like a little warm, but anyway. And I do use those bulbs, the um, ones that are supposed to be day like daylight, natural daylight or whatever. So anyway, I um, wanted to tell you we did pick up the Kirkland brushes. They were at Costco last weekend, and Brooke has them. She's using them. And there was a few in there that I wanted to try, but I thought I would just let her have them, you know, and um, maybe I'll sneak in there and try one. I did one finally get my Bumble and Bumble dry shampoo, it, dry cleaning, um, matte finish, instant fullness. And that's really, it does enable you to go an extra day and it gives you fullness you will not believe. And I get the white. That's what they suggest if you have really light blonde hair. Now, if you have you know dirty blonde hair or just really light brown then you can probably get the blonde but the white is what I use and this is my favorite um, along with hair I got this brush which has some of my hair sticking out of it and this is the 100% natural boar bristle and I got it at Ulta and it is called let's see I saved this so I could show you um, the Marilyn um, for volume tuxedo pro and um, it says, with Marilyn, simply section, a quarter turn, and pull, no winding. Um, achieved in the first stroke. Endorsed by 90% of platform artists worldwide. Anyway, I got this. Um, the next few things I show you, I got on the, at, at Ulta with the 20% off card. Now, that card is a little different than coupons that you get on your flyer or online. The card is off of your entire purchase, and it doesn't matter what brand it is. So um, I got a good little bit of stuff that day. A lot of it was for swaps. So, But anyway, one of the hairstylists there told me that she loved this brush and that they were so good and that she had seen them at hair shows and everything. And so I got one. And I do like it. I love it's got one of those spongy type grips that I love. And I have really enjoyed now for the crown of my head and getting volume up there. I haven't mastered this yet because I'm so used to my brush lab. But what I do like is the sides. I did not have to curl or flat iron my hair at all. And normally, even if I can get all of my hair straight or smooth, I cannot get these sides because they've always, ever since I was a little girl, I've had real curly hair on the sides. This does it. So for that purpose alone, this is worth it. And um, I really, really like it. And I think it was like 25 and then I got the 20% off. But um, even at 25, I got another can of um, the Kenra Volume Spray Super Hold Finishing Spray 25. I went ahead and got the big can. It was on um, three times the points. And I just love this hairspray. Now, for at night when I'm just getting through fixing my hair and I just want a little bit of um, I just want it to stay straight and I want it to have body then that's when I use my Alterna the caviar hairspray but if I want to keep um, curls or flips or anything this is what I use and I love it love it it works so good and um, I love the pink can so I went ahead and got the big one and I finally broke off. down and got these. Gina, so many times, has told me I need this blush. And it's the Lorac Baked Satin Blush in Exposed. And it is gorgeous. It, it reminds me of, and I hope that the color shows true, it reminds me of um, probably NARS Orgasm or it's a, it's a pretty intense coral. 
But what is neat about these blushes is even though they're satin, they really have a sheen to them. They're just gorgeous. It's almost like it's almost like you've taken a blush and an MSF and combined them without that chunky glitter or that I don't know, MSFs a lot of times will give me that old skin look on my cheeks. And those are really, really nice. And I went ahead and got the Velvet Rope too because I love these kind of colors in the fall and winter. And it is the, like, like a rosy tone. It's gorgeous. It's very, very, very similar to that Rosa Pessa from Deborah Milano that I love so much that Christine sent me. It is really pretty. So I really recommend these. Everybody, I've never seen anybody um, review these or use these that didn't really love them. And I just really, Lorac products are that that really nice. That is all I got for myself. I ended up getting petty scrubbers and tart blushes and some other stuff for other people, but I did, that's all I got for myself that day. Um, so moving on to, let's see, I'll tell you about this. I went to get some more of my Abaji Exferderm Forte, which is the, it is the, let's see, what would you call it? It's part of the skincare treatment that you put on in the morning of the Abaji New Derm system. And it is an exfoliant. That's what I was trying to say. It is like $75 or something like that. So I asked her, I said, is there anything that does, you know, something pretty similar that's not as expensive? And my esthetician and the girl up front both said they love this. It's the Glow Therapeutics. I don't know how I'm going to show you. There it is. And it is the Renew Renew Serum. It's got 1% retinol, 7% glycolic, and 1% salicylic acid. And it is a serum, and it was only 40 And I really like it. And what I've been doing is just putting a pump out on my hand and kind of doing it that way. And at night, about probably about three times a week, I use Retin-A, Rafisa, on my face. So really, you need to use the Retin-A with an exfoliant because, like they say, the Retin-A makes your skin cells regenerate and turn over faster, but you need an exfoliant with like the glycolic acid to, what they say is it almost breaks up the glue that holds the dead skin cells together, so they'll go ahead and slough off. So I'll keep you um, updated on this, and I am going to do an updated skincare routine slash abaji because I have changed some things, so I will do that real soon. Okay. Um, do, do, do. I'll go to my Sephora friends and family. They had the 20% off and I was pretty set with everything. So I ended up getting the Too Faced Matte Eye Palette. I got one for me and one for anyway, Anne Marie. So I got one for her and I and I love this so much. I feel like I need to do a separate review, but real quick, I will show it to you. And this is the one that I'm wearing today. This is the one that I wore the other day, the last video that I did. I haven't tried this one in the middle yet, but I love this so much and I cannot imagine any of you not liking it. I at first was kind of um, apprehensive because I like shimmer so much. I was thinking, oh, if I use all matte, it's gonna make my eyelids look so wrinkly and old and it's gonna be boring. It's not gonna be sexy and it is just all opposite of all of those. I love it, love it, love it. I mean, I could not recommend it any more than I do. Same I day that I these. went to the place that I get my hair done um, to get the Bumble and Bumble, they actually had a sale on some YSL products. The ones that were being discontinued, I believe they had them 30% off. And I had looked at this particular lip gloss the last time I was there, and Tess, the girl that works there, um, remembered it, and she actually sent me a, a text telling me it was on sale. And it is the Touche Brilliance uh, Sparkling Touch for Lips, and the number is number six. And it's just one of these, one of the, you know, ones that you pump, and it's real. I would show it to you, but it is very, very sheer. It's um, just, it looks really good over the lipstick, the YSL lipstick, the Diamond Rose lipstick that I bought. And so I love that. And I think I got it for 21 or something. Pretty inexpensive for a YSL. Went to Bobby Brown. I went actually went to the mall a couple of times this last week. I did some shopping this week. Um, and I have gone through, I believe, two of these. 
since I started with the Bobby Brown, since Bobby Brown came to our mall. And the last one I had hit pan, I ended up giving it to my mom and I kind of moved on to other bronzers. But this is just a good bronzer. It's um, just their regular bronzer and I get medium number two. It's matte, not real, it's not a chalky matte at all. And when I comp came home and I compared it to a lot of my other bronzers, it has a lot more warmth to it. It's not as gray or tan. It's really a, not orangey, but just a real, a real warm bronzer, real bronzy bronzer. And um, I have it on today and it's just a real good one to use with their bronzer brush and just warm up your whole complexion. Not, I mean, it does contour, but it's not going to be that like emote or um, the Benefit Hula. It's more of a real sun-kissed look and I really like that. So I went ahead and got another one because I kind of missed it. If I had to say what it's closest to, it would be that Urban Decay Toasted. But the Toasted has a little bit more, um, not shimmer, but sheen to it. So love that. Um, that day I ended up, when I go in Belks, I just love all my friends there. And so I end up like a little bee going to each counter and finding stuff that I want. This is something I cannot wait yeah, to I have show. to mention Let me too. See what else I've got that I did some good shopping this week and got some good deals because my Belks had a friends and family sale going on too and I had a 20% off pass that was good for any brand including all the cosmetics and you got to use it just for one day and um, so the Bobbi Brown everything that I show you in this next little bit I got 20% off okay this is the black shimmer number 70 waterproof long-lasting eyeliner from Chanel don't let the, the name Black Shimmer fool you because it's not shimmer. What it is is there's a really black and then there's this one, which is more of a an off black. You know, they'll call it off black, new black, or whatever. It's not gray. It is black, and it's what I'm wearing today. It's what I've worn. I think I wore it last time, too, and it does retract back in. It is just phenomenal. Hannah, Miss Hannah G., I want you to try this because it lasts on the waterline all day long. And even when it wears off a little bit, it doesn't smudge all the way down like the Stila and all the other ones do. And I love the way, see how I've done the line? It will stay that crisp for the entire day. So it still gives you your definition at the lashes, but I love the way it lets my lid still show. And it's, it just, it's perfect. It's perfection. And I want to get the really black one next time get this and liner off of my hand so you might have to see it for a few minutes okay after i went first i started at chanel then i went over to bobby brown and then um i spoke to my friend amy at the mac counter she's the manager there and she had this lip combo on and i was just like in a trance you know over there and i said what do you have on your lips and she said oh my gosh she said it's um viva glam gaga and I said, I can't believe it because I, every time I saw one of you guys show that lipstick or that gloss, I thought, there's no way I can wear that. It's way too brown. And the guy that works there that used to help with my hair, um, Garnet, he said that I probably could with the right liner and he was so right. Hold on just we have a lot going on behind the scenes here today. So anyway, that's what I have on today. I have on strip down mac strip down liner which was my very very first mac purchase when i when the counter first got here when i was probably 22 or 3 that's this was a well it's probably a little bit older than that this is the first thing i got so i already had that but i got the viva glam gaga 2 lipstick and here it is it does not look eventful but is a just a beautiful like you know creamy you know if I was going to like the gloss on top or not but she Amy is so good about putting the combo on you and it looked fabulous so this is what I have on top of it and it really does enhance the look now don't put too much because it'll make it too milky looking but and then I went back over with the strip down liner and it is just I think it's beautiful and I goodness coming coming apart here I really love like this um, camel type color and um, so I thought this will be perfect. So I'm so, I'm super, super excited about that. I got a lot it's of It's a lip glass, and I'm not sure what collection it's from, but it's called Good Times. And it just looks so pretty. And I have not worn it yet, but it is one of those um, 
real nudie, mauvey, pinky type colors. It um, looks like one that would be good on its own. So I picked up that, and I, like I said, I haven't used it yet. And then Amy, she knows my makeup style, and she said that I would love these. I haven't tried these yet. It is the Pro Longwear Eyeshadow. And the colors I got, this one, as soon as she swatched it, I was like, oh, I want that one. It's called Pink Frontier. And it really was a type of mauve pink or dusty pink when she put it on. And um, she said these do not need any primer. Um, I'm sorry. You're probably not going to be able to see that true color. But um, it's a real pretty, it's a pretty pink. I think it'll look really good over my girlfriendly paint pot or groundwork. And then this is the one that she had on and she said it was a perfect gray that did not turn blue and it's called Keep Your Cool. And um, you'll have to let me know if you have tried any of these. But I thought the two of these would look good together too. And it's just a real pretty um, gray. It's gorgeous. I love, I'm a sucker for the grays. And I think that's all I got at the MAC counter, but I forgot to tell you about one thing at the Chanel counter that I got. I, there is one lipstick, and I cannot remember the name, that they try to have tried to put on me time and time again, and I thought it was too close to the Lancome, the pink color that I like. I can't remember that now, sorry. And um, I went back looking for it, you know, not knowing the name, just going through all the lipsticks, and I still couldn't find it. If I can remember it, I'll put it right here. It wasn't Lola, um, Natty, Natratana likes Lola, and it wasn't that one. It was something similar, but I ended up getting this one. They had the Aqua Lemire's on sale. I can't believe YSL and Chanel are putting their products on sale. That's so nice, I think. And then I got another 20% off, so I went ahead and got it. It's the um, Ipanema, I guess is how you pronounce it. And um, I had this on the other day. It's just a very, very glossy nude, and I love it. It's a and then when I looked up the reviews, I love when I get stuff to come home and look up the reviews and stuff. Everybody just loves it. So that's a good one. And maybe your counter is doing the same thing. They might have some stuff on sale. And I think it was like, it was in the 20s. And then I got the additional 20% off. So I think that was it for my Belks. Um, and it was the same day. day that I ordered my boots. And I will show you that in the next clothes and shoe haul. One of my good makeup girlfriends that used to work at the Clinique counter at Belk's went to Dior at Dillard's. And so it was the first time I had been to see her. And um, actually, one of my other friends, Melissa, was there. They're make, their regional makeup artist. So we had a good time talking. And she put on me one of her favorite lip combinations. And it was terracotta liner. It was a beige. I cannot remember the name. It was a beige. And I will put that right down here because it's, I'll probably end up getting it, and then it was this gloss, and she said that every time, everything she puts on, she puts this gloss over it, and it makes it better, and I just loved it. It's called uh, 247 Glow. It's just a real pretty peachy. It reminds me kind of like Peach Petal by Revlon, but a little, um, I don't know, not, I hate to say sh more sheer, but not as, um, it comes with a brush. It just, I don't know, maybe um not as milky looking and um it's beautiful it looks it looks good on its own so i got that and then she gave me a sample of the extase dior show mascara i have loved this i would have to say this is my favorite dior mascara that i've tried so far it's perfect i love the shape of this wand and you know i like mascara that really just goes on i don't have to work on it and that's how this is so i'll probably get this in the future so, um, thanks to Melissa and Catherine is who works at the Dior counter. And um, so, let me see, ended up getting this necklace one day. I went shopping with Brooke and Casey, her friend, and I picked this up. And it's just a simple little long necklace with a, I thought it was a pretty little simple cross. And um, would actually look good today. And I haven't worn it yet, but this stuff is it was four dollars and eighty cents so it might break the first time I wear it but sometimes I've bought stuff that I really like there and I just thought it was pretty and I just got this last week and then that same day at Belk's I bought these earrings 20% off and I have looked at these no exaggeration for probably about three years and always talked myself out of them I didn't think they'd look good on me and it's the ones I have on today 
and they're lucky and they're part of their regular line they rarely I don't think I've ever seen them on sale and um, I love of course I love the crosses I love that the design of them I love that they have gold and silver and I really love that the crystals are on both sides of the cross I just think that's a nice touch and they're originally $35 and then I got them 20% off so I really really like these and I'm glad another I thing got that them. I have gotten and I have just fallen in love with right up there with the Chanel liner and the matte palette are these and I I've seen these before but what really encouraged me to give it a try was Samantha Samantha Sherman or Sherman and Samantha's gonna think I'm stalking her because I keep mentioning her on these videos but I've just really really enjoyed her her videos and her personality I just think that she is a beautiful girl with um, I just think she's a good girl I, I can tell it so she had one of these on when she was doing her video and it is the microfiber hair turbans um, I got one of them at TJ Maxx, and then I got one of them at um, Steinmart. Steinmart was $7.99 and um, $5.99 at TJ Maxx, and I think the Steinmart one was 30% off that day. So I got two because Brooke wanted to try one. I love these, and I can tell the biggest difference in my hair from using this. First of all, I didn't think that all of my hair was going to fit in them. It does. It's wonderful. And if you want me to do a full review of all the different reasons I love them, I will. But I'm just telling you, I love these. So I don't want to I don't know this video is going to be already so long. Maybe I'll, when I do um, my favorite hair products or something, maybe I'll put okay, I did in get, there too. surprise, three different packages. Um, one of them I'm going to show you later this week. It was something that a company sent to me that I, I'm really excited to show you. It's um, a necklace. And two were surprise packages. I kind of knew this one was coming. And um, it's from Marion. And her YouTube name is, I remember Emma, but I'll put it right down here. She messaged me long ago when I was asking you guys, what was your favorite brush for cream, shadows, paint pots? everything and she loves this brush and it is the Quo Cream Eyeshadow Brush. I used it today. I just got the package yesterday. It is perfection. Just perfection. I have been using the MAC 252. This is so much better. I think because of the angle. I used it today with my Nubile Paint Pot and it's just the best. I love it. It cleaned right up with my, I just you know wiped it off on my napkin with my brush cleanser on it. She and, sent me some um, other goodies. So, from Canada, some samples of some facial scrubs, foot scrub. She sent me some earrings, hoop earrings. Um, I don't know if, yeah, here it is. She um, sent this bracelet to Brooke, and um, she said it was too small for her. And I'm not sure if it's a bracelet or a hair tie, but the thing is, Brooke wears her hair ties on her arms anyway. So I've already showed Brooke, but I made her leave it here so I could show you a beautiful oh gosh all kinds of pretty stuff um this i can see it's just dark <laughs> and um i am going to give you guys the full details on my contacts frankie loved of love i have not forgotten about you the thing is i just ordered them and when i get them in i will show you the box do a review and everything because on my um tester set they gave me their the details weren't on there it's you know it was just like a a free thing for the doctor's office. Okay, she sent me the Angel um, Lip Annabelle Lip Tint Angel. And she sent me the Annabelle Nude Lip Liner and this. You know, I love Lee Swatche stuff. She sent me the Nude Lee Swatche um, Plumpissimo Le Gloss. And it's their lip plumper. And I love these. It is gorgeous. It was, I was tempted to put that on today. I could not decide what I wanted to put on. So, and then this Quo eyeshadow, which is gorgeous. Look at that. I just love it. That's going to be perfect. And let's see. Two nail polishes. I didn't even know Quo made nail polishes. And it's made by Orly. That's nice. And um, this is called First Class. It's a beautiful color. And this is called Coffee and Cream. And it's one of those really pretty... Um, Chocolate Quo colors. Cream Eyeliner. I haven't even opened this yet because I just got it yesterday. And lots and lots of goodies. 
in the box. See, so thank you so much. Um, when she wrote me and wanted to send me the brush, I said I would send her some of the real techniques. So I'm going to send that out to her next week, and that way we can try some of the products that we can get. The next box that I got was from Lou, and this was a total surprise. We have done, I believe, one or two swaps. And she lives in the UK, and she just sent me some things out of the blue. And um, I love this. I saved it. It has this precious, it says, Hi, my name is Boofy. <laughs> and it's this little paper. Look at him. It's any precious. And she sent me a card. She sent me some of her favorites. Um, just some good stuff. And she also sent me some things that she said that she bought that didn't work for her, which I mean, ever so thankful. Little, she said this was something that she keeps in her pocketbook, and it's just a nice little notebook that's very thin. And she said they also make them in leather, but this is perfect. So you can just write down notes, addresses, and I do that all the time when I'm going to ship something, I put people's addresses in here. People that I ship things often, that way I don't have to, if I get something, I can ship it before I even come home. So she sent that. Then she also sent me a pen me from it. her work, and you guys know I love pens. And um, so I'll put that in my purse. She said it all started with these earrings that she wanted to send me, and she kept on building, and I love them. God, they would look good today. But they are just turquoise with butterflies, long earrings and I love them. And then she sent these, and I these remind me of the ones that Angelique sent me that I love so much, and the silver and the gold, perfect. And these will look good with my necklace that I got, the um, Ben Amun necklace. Crazy about those, and then look at these. They're so pretty, and I, um, in my next video, I'll show you a shirt that I got that will look good with these, just crystally blue. Okay, the next couple of things I'll show you, these are things that she said she got for herself and they didn't work out. She said the next, she keeps everything in the box. The next two are Chanel blushes that she said were too dark for her and I love them. The first one I have on today is the 82 Reflex and gorgeous. I can't believe she still had the plastic on it and everything. It is so beautiful. It's like a... It's like a orangey, not orangey, a rusty, rosy type color with a little bit of shimmer. And it just went on perfectly, and I love it. So this thank you, she thank sent you. me is Broom, Broom Dior, which I'm sure some of you might know what that means. But I haven't tried this one yet because I just got it yesterday, but it is beautiful too. I know I'm going to love it. It's going to be a perfect, just brownish, rosy tan color, similar to... Um, Tempting beige, maybe. I just love it. So thank you so this much. This is for those. a Dior palette that she said she didn't, that she wasn't using, that she thought I would appreciate. And it's the um, iridescent um, in 659 Crush Glow. And I've never had any of these, and it is just gorgeous. Look at those colors. I will use that very soon. I don't want everything to fall out, but I love that they're iridescent. And it's sent me this, she said this is her favorite gloss. It's the YSL Golden Gloss, which I love those, in number 11. And it is the, like, I think it's called Whisper. It's one of my favorites, too. And it's just a light pink. This is a, I believe this is one of Kim Kardashian's favorites. Um, I was excited to see this. She sent me another sample of the Prada candy, and it's empty because I used it today. I was out of my other little sample that Liz sent me, and so this was right on time because I ended up ordering it from, if you order the Prada candy from Neiman Marcus, they have a little makeup bag that goes with it, so I ordered that the other night. And um, she sent me some samples of the Dior Show, which I used today. She sent me two of them. The other one's in my bathroom. A... Instant Light Lip Perfector number two, and that is the peachy one. And that's perfect. Well, you guys know what this looks like. I'm trying to hurry up. A Le Crayon Cole Noir from Lancome. I have never tried this, so I might do like a an eyeliner review video because I've got I've got the YSL, the Chanel, the Lancome, the Mac, Stila, Urban Decay, all of those, and I can compare lots them. And lots of good samples. I can tell Lou has a good connection at the Chanel counter and the Dior counter and Clarins 
just lots and lots of good stuff and this is one I'm interested to try. I remember that was a real different scent that I wanted to try. Some cow shed cream. I'm using her other one. This is the hand cream. I'll put this in my car but the one in the bottle. As a matter of fact I used when I got out of the shower last night. So thank you so much and Lou said that her dad has been sick and Lou I hope that your dad gets better and gets home soon and thank and you so much. So I think that is about it for everything I got this week which I know is a lot. It's a, some good stuff and um, so I will be if you want a review on anything just let me know and um, I wanted to go ahead and um, tell you the winner for this past week's contest for the lip plumper from Neostrata. The winner is Amy4255. Amy4255. If you will send me your um, mailing address and information, just send me a personal message. I will get that out to you. And thanks, everybody, for leaving comments. And um, I hate to do this to you guys, but it is time. It is 12.15, and our movie starts at... Hey, John, what time does the movie start? 2.20. At 2.20, and we are going to go eat lunch first. So I'm going to have to end this video and then I will do my clothes and shoes either later on this afternoon or tomorrow and um, but I'll go ahead and get this one up so I hope you guys have a good weekend and I will see you real soon bye bye